Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to learn simple if statement. It is also called one way branching statement because it consisting of only a condition that is to be checked. If the condition is true, then the particular statement or a set of statements will get executed. Otherwise, next statement will get executed. So let us see a general form or syntax of simple if statement here we are going to write if in a lowercase letter because it is a keyword it should be written in lowercase letter only in a round bracket we are going to write a condition that returns the boolean value either true or false value if this condition is true then the statement will get executed otherwise the next statement will get executed. So same simple if statement can also be written as if and inside the round bracket I am going to write condition and curly open brace. Here if I write a single statement then it is called simple statement. If I want to execute more than one statement under the influence of this if condition then i have to put it in a curly open and closing braces that is called code or block of statements here i'm going to write statement number one statement number two and so on we can have statement n curly closing brace so this block depicts that it is a compound statement now let us look at the flow chart so i'm going to draw a down arrow mark that shows the data flow and now i'm going to write is condition we are going to check out whether it is true or false so condition will be represented in the form of rhombus so i'm going to draw the rhombus over here and then if it is true then statement will get executed so i'm drawing this particular flowchart with respect to the first syntax here we have got a simple statement what is going to happen if it is false if it is false then it goes to next statement i'll write here next statement and this should be written inside a rectangle now we will go for the code or block it is also called compound statement now i'm going to draw the down arrow mark and once again we are going to check out condition is condition and question mark so here it is going to return the boolean value either true or false if it is true then set of statements will get executed here i'm going to write statement number one statement number two and so on we can have statement number n so the these statements are enclosed within the rectangle if it is false then the control must get transferred to the next statement here i'm going to write next statement this one also should be enclosed within the rectangle now let us look at an example here we will take a programming example in a single line comment i'm going to write a program to find the largest of two numbers 
using simple if statement only now let us begin with the preprocessor directives i'll write hash include in the angular base i'm going to write stdio.h header file that is standard input output dot h header file the next preprocessor directive is hash include in the angular brace i'll write console input output dot h header file now i'm going to write wide main function curly open brace and here in a declaration section i'm going to declare three variables i'll write comma b and then i'm going to uh, write the third variable that is called large and put semicolon here after declaring all the variables you can write clr ssr to clear the screen and after this i'm going to ask the user to enter two numbers in printf statement i'm going to write printf in a double quotation mark i'm going to ask the user to enter two numbers colon backward slash n end the double quotation mark close the bracket and put semicolon and we are going to receive the value from the user using scanf statement in a round bracket in a double quotation mark i'm going to write the format specifier percentage d and percentage d because here percentage d represent integer type of data here we need to receive two integer numbers that's the reason i have to write two format specifiers and end the double quotation mark put comma here ampersand of a comma ampersand of b and put semicolon so after receiving this i'm going to write large is equated with value a now we are going to check out the simple if statement if b is greater than large then large is equal to b and put semicolon now we are going to go for printing the values stored in a large variable i'll write here printf in a double quotation mark i am going to write largest is equal to percentage d format specifier end the double quotation mark put comma and value is stored in the variable called large so here i am going to write large and put semicolon now i am going to write get ch function then curly closing brace now let us take the output here when we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter two numbers just because of this backward slash n cursor will come down so here i need to enter two values let us suppose i will write 5 and then i'll write 10 so this 5 will be stored in a variable called a and 10 will be stored in a variable called b next large is equal to a so large is equated with value a a is what 5 now we are going to check out the condition if b is greater than large what is b b value here it is 10 is greater than large that is 5 whether it is true or false 10 is greater than 5 yes it is true if it is true then large is equal to b executes here i am going to write large is equal to b b is what b value is 10 so earlier large was 5 now just because of this condition is true now large value is 10 now it is going to print so whatever you write in a double quotation mark it will be printed as it is so here you can print largest is equal to percentage d is associated with this variable so this variable is holding value 10 so largest is equal to 10 will be printed now we will execute this program and check out the result here you can see i have already uh, written the program to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 so it is showing success that means there is no syntax error i'll press enter now let us execute this program by pressing control f9 
here it is asking the user to enter two numbers for example i'm going to enter 5 and then 10 and i'll press enter here you can see largest is equal to 10 